was always, you'll hear me halfway right through a painting swearing and I genuinely <laughs> start to hate, like, it's not going, they never go well halfway through, and there's a, the battle's on. And I'm, even it's in winter, a team I'm, super, I'm taking off my jumpers and I'm down and I'm just pouring sweat. <laughs> they end up being very physical paintings because of the immediacy of, that's required as the medium is drying. And because they're all, um, most, of the, most of them are about taking the paint off, you only get one chance to decide how much to take off and you can only move it to a certain point over a certain period before it starts getting sticky and you just screw it up and then you just throw the canvas out. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a lot more panic and anger and fury and magic and all those things that come down and normally you'll hear me at the end going, don't touch it, you've done it, <laughs> leave, leave it, leave it, I'm so close, but then you know that it's a little bit, like it's a very, the dance mm -hmm. of, a, of, of a painting in one sitting is, a, is mm -hmm. It's, and Mira often walks past and goes, you, you need to YouTube one of these one day because every time she goes and gets a cup of tea, paint's changed and I was trying to paint one thing at one point or clouds end up being a colour field. They, they go through a lot of um, um, lines before they end up in their final image. Um, but that's, the, that's the one. I think watching someone paint is one of the, or make music or do anything creative is one of the most beautiful and heartbreaking. Um, mm -hmm processes to watch a human put themselves through. Like we string ourselves out just to, and at the end it all looks, we are, you, you and you guys are only seeing the good ones, you don't see the disasters, all that kind of thing. Um, but they are very physical and I think um, someone asked me, can I do a bigger painting? And I'm like, well my arms can only reach 1.5 or 1.6 metres and that's my, because most of these are about single, uh, pulling the paint off and my, my um, studio has all the splatters of paint because of a single mask. Mm. And even just the height of these, um, that's where my height's coming into play a little bit. Mm. But I can just tackle a big painting. Mm. Um, someone asked me why they're all vertical as well at some point. Um, I didn't have the answer for that, I just know they needed to be vertical. Um, but he was saying in the Australian history of painting landscape, verticality is a big, is an important thing in terms of how high our skies are. Uh, I don't know, just something about it. if I did them horizontal, I was thinking, what if they were all horizontal? Well, the panorama is normally what we consider to be the the way in which, like when we think of Fred Williams, who, who really was only ever interested in the horizon, you know, these are quite the antithesis of that. that you know, you're, you're, you're asking us to, to look at these pictures um, in a way as though it's not just about our eyes, but how our, 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 our whole body and the invisible eye of our whole, whole body interacts with the world in a sense. Yeah, de definitely. I mean, I've never painted in a landscape. Um, so, um, Shape. They're all portraits, and I think I do that on purpose in order to cut through and up. Yeah. And there's that height where you're kind of looking up to the heavens or down, and you, 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 you move through the painting a lot more vertically, which is more of an Asian kind of way of reading um, a landscape rather than the left to right mm -hmm. we have. And I, I really into, I like the fact that you have to go up and down in them, yeah. to travel through them. Maybe that's just how I see the landscape, but it's also uh, by breaking it up, it makes it a little bit more abstract. And Start playing more with sort of that um, division of the canvas. Right. How do you then go from this like big expansive swearing, sweating place to then this smaller? They're just as they're just as much swearing in one of those. <laughs> trust me. What small paintings look easier? They, well, I find them almost harder than the bigger painting because you can't use your shoulder as much to to create uh, to push the paint. So I'm kind of trying to recreate what I can do here. <coughs> but I love small paintings. I think they're just as powerful. I'm painting that here is as powerful as a six metre work easily. You don't feel confined, like you've got this grandiose landscape that you try to then. Yeah, I do. I do, but there's something beautiful in, in the tiny porthole as well. They're just a different, it's a different language um, for me. And I try and I paint. It's just, you downsize the brushes, you downsize everything, but it's still the same kind of. Um, visual narrative, I think. Um, a lot of the studies for these, um, I just paint a hell of a lot of little ones and then choose the good ones. Um, so they're, they're a nice, and on some days I can't, I don't have the energy to take on a big painting, so the little ones are kind of, they're good, they're good to get you into a day of painting or when you run out of inspiration, run out, run out of ideas. And the little ones are a little, can be your friend. So I kind of use them like that. But I would like to go bigger than this as well um, and do, go even more immersive. I think these work, some of these are working. The bigger you go, the more you get into them. Um, we'll see what happens. There'll be, more, there'll be a lot more.
I wanted to ask about the, I guess, the technique, but even um, the thought behind the banding in the colour fields. Yeah, the banding is, the paintings just needed it. I tried to paint with beautiful fades, and there wasn't enough surface tension in terms of buzz. And I think we're trying to paint space as well, and I think by pulling off and creating bands, you have that, for me, that creates that feeling of just short and then long, when your eyes kind of, if you walk on the beach at midnight, you can see forever. That kind of feeling when they're quite that kind of push and pull, so it's more of a tension thing, which is just more of a surface um, effect, I suppose. Anyone else? Well, Julian, I must say thank you, it's been very informative, and um, and I just want to.